Okay guys, so this is the walkthrough of the website. I'm gonna try and make this as quick and easy as possible because there are a couple steps to start in a stream, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. Um, this is the obviously the first page where we have all the different categories of streaming, including miscellaneous, where you can feel free to stream any kind of software that you're working in. Um, and you can find the categories as well very easily by clicking this button. If you do click this button, uh, first category here, it will take you to the second page that features all of the streams that have been done or are going on right now. So I'm going to go back and click Photoshop. Obviously these are just placeholder um, thumbnails so that's going to change very quickly here. Um, so here we go to Photoshop. You can start a stream here. Um, you can also start it from that first page as well. So I'm going to select Photoshop as my category. I'm going to hold off on giving it a title actually. I'm going to click Start a Hangout on Air. Please be aware that you do need to have a YouTube account already set up here um, to get a stream going. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this and then I'm going to disable my camera because you don't need to see me talking here but you can see that handsome guy right there. Uh, I'm going to click Join. And I'm going to give it a name, Chris Muir, Expert Edits a Photo. And uh, that's all fine and good. Start the Hangout. And it's going to open and connect to my YouTube account automatically, which is not too bad. There's a little progress bar loading up. Um, and you can see that it's automatically muting my microphone. I can unmute it, which will allow me to talk to the audience, obviously. Um, but you may want to start with it muted. Um, oh, now it's unmuted, I'm sorry. Um, you may want to start with it muted just because it adds one more element of complexity. And unless you're getting comments and questions from people, then you may not need to use the microphone to answer them right away. So now I'm going to hit broadcast. That's going to start it up. Hit OK. And we're going live, which is great. As we go live, the next thing I want to do is screen share. So I'm going to click this button. I can either screen share my whole desktop or any window that is open. So I'm going to select my Photoshop window where I've already started a beautiful piece of artwork. And I can now add to this artwork with my pen tool. That's just making, oh wow, that's so, that's so great. Um, now if we go back over to my, um, what am I saying? My Hangout window. Uh, I can grab my code. You want to make sure to grab your YouTube page code. Copy that. Go over to your Watch Me Work page. Paste it into the Hangout code. Put your title in here. Chris Weir. Expert. Edits a photo. Maybe put a little bit more description here. This is the coolest photo I've worked on so far. Even though it's not a photo, but you get the idea. Start streaming. Now it will pop up your own stream so that you can actually confirm that it's working and you can see what other people are seeing. Wow, it's totally working and it's totally great. Oh. <laughs> Another thing to be aware of, I totally forgot about this. This is a weird and odd thing that uh, Google will do, and that they will rickroll you when you get started. If you go to the YouTube button here in your Google Hangouts, uh, for whatever reason, it starts a playlist always starting with Rick Astley and never going to give you up, which I believe you can set and turn off, but I did want to show you guys that as it's going to happen to you and you have to turn it off in your settings so that doesn't happen when you when you're actually doing your stream so that is a ridiculous and uh, goofy goofy uh, element to this but uh, that's the basics of, of getting the live stream started so now that I know my live stream is started I can continue to work in Photoshop and lasso everything and make beautiful work as well as interact with people in the chat room. So when somebody leaves a message, I can enter my own name and I can say, 
Thanks for leaving a message. Or I can reply to them using the microphone and just talk to people as they comment on it. So that's the overall uh, overview. To stop your stream, obviously, you're going to want to do that at some point. You just hop back over to the Hangouts window. Um, you can hit stop screen sharing, but that's just going to stop your screen share. What you really want to do is hit stop broadcast, and that will stop it. Um, it's terminated. That's great. And then your video will actually end up um, being saved to your YouTube channel. So you can do whatever you want with it there. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. Um, and please watch the last video so that you can see how to get the most out of your um, your experience here. Last thing, you do want to hit leave call um, just because that officially closes out the hang hangout even though your broadcast was stopped when you hit that other button. That's it. Looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Please watch that last video and I will hopefully see what you're doing pretty soon. Thanks.